Right, this is a lecture on the coordinate change matrix. It's a nice little matrix which you multiply by any thing to do in one basis and then it will go into the other basis. Right, the method. C, and we've got B down there, and B prime up the top is called the coordinate change matrix from B to B prime. So it's from bottom to top where B and B prime are basis is. I wasn't sure how to spell that. And a little thing we should know here is that C, B, B prime equals C, B prime, B inverse. That should be a minus, not an equals. Um, to find it, we write the elements of B in terms of B prime. So it's, it's nice and easy, really. Right, let V equal R2 and B be the standard basis for V. So the standard basis for that is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1, yeah? And let B prime be another basis, 1, minus 1, 2, 1. Yeah, we've got two, two, two vectors in there. Find C, B prime, B. So to do this, we're going to write the elements of B prime in terms of B. So we've got to write these in terms of B, which is the standard basis. So we have 1 minus 1 has to be written 1 times 1, 0, minus 1 times 0, 1. And this 2, 1 can be written 2 times 1, 0, plus 1 times 0, 1. So therefore, our coordinate change matrix is this, which is a nice and easy little me. It's, it's nice and easy to do, isn't it? All right, find C, B, B prime. So again, we just write, we're just writing the, the standard ones in terms of our different ones. Now, this one was a bit trickier, but if you... Well, it, it makes it dead easy because you've got one zero, so the zero is going to work some stuff out for you. So if you put an alpha and beta in front, you'll be able to get minus alpha. You'll be able to get alpha equals beta. Then from this one, you'll be able to work it all out. So we get a third and a third minus two thirds and plus a third there. So our coordinate change matrix is like you get this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Let's go down. Yeah. So third, third minus two third we do it that way okay and done